So hi there guys and welcome back to Boat Macrill. This week we are keep on struggling with a new cabin sole, actually the forward cabin sole. In last week's episode you saw me doing the preforming or the uh, outlining of the for the template. And yep. Here it is. This is actually the template for the new cabin sole. As you might see here, there is actually no holes here, here and here for the uh, for the bilge parts but that will be done later on right now I'm just going to make sure that this is cut out of this piece of 12 millimeter plywood uh, this plywood will later on be, be uh, glassed on actually both sides of course the top side will be glassed and also painted or flow coated or whatever yeah, we'll come to that a little bit later. So first, first of all, just let us start uh, cutting out the plywood. I was just about to do a huge mistake. If I have this, this is the upside of the template. And this is the bottom side of the new cabin sole. The fine side or the nice side is on the bottom here. If I do what I'm just doing, I'm actually going to have the cabin sole upside down when I'm trying to install it. So, of course, I need to do the same thing with the template. I actually have one fine side here, a straight edge here. This edge I cut out a little bit when I was fitting this template and it's kind of uneven so I'm just using this straight edge of the plywood for this side. So that's actually what I need to cut out right now. I'm just going to get my saw and then start doing this. But first, let's take a sip of coffee. And one last little thing, when I'm, when I'm going to get my saw, uh, you just watch a time lapse of when I did that template up at the boat.
So this then is pretty much the new cabin sole, minus or except the part when it needs to be glassed on both sides where the hatches has to be cut out. That will be done later on. There is also some smaller, probably smaller modifications. I will probably have to uh, fine trim some sides. I also have to do a little chamfer on the underside. I will do that with a either with my router or with a, a sander machine or, or rotary sander. There is actually a couple of things that I could do if I wanted to. I kind of know that this notch over here is where the um, the dinette or sitting area it's raised up so that it's a wall it's a heightened up about this much from the from the cabin sole and goes in like this uh, this area over here and from around here to down to here somewhere is the area where I can do the hatches you have, might even not even have to go up to the boat to measure this out, but just let me do this first. Yeah, I know I moved that a little bit. So it actually means that somewhere in this corridor here, the new hatches are going to be. I also know that these areas around here is where I got the floors for the cabin zone. I also know that this area up here is a no-go zone because I have the supports here and somewhere around there. It's also a no-go zone because there is the uh, support for that part. Next big question over here is, will I have them in a straight line like that? Or will I have them slightly following the, the wall or the edge that will be here and the... I don't know. Nah, I will make sure that they follow with the line down here. Yep, definitely. And we said that these guys are 40, so about 20. It's the middle of that. And by that we get the, actually have the center line like that.
well if it isn't pretty make it pretty uh, that was kind of kind of a joke but So what do you say guys, shall we just uh, wrap this up over here and come back next week, take this out, uh, hopefully build the, uh, the frame under it so that we can put in the, uh, these lids or hatches or whatever you want to call it later on. And then of course, uh, hopefully start fiberglassing this. If you like my, what I'm doing here on the channel, please give me a little thumbs up. Hit the subscription button down on your right side and of course put the notification bell on all so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And take care everyone, stay safe and bye!